Nickel State has joined many universities in Louisiana who have implemented COVID-19 vaccination guidelines on their campuses. Public universities were able to release statements about their vaccination guidelines after the Food and Drug Administration approved the COVID-19 vaccine community, known as the Pfizer vaccine. Vaccination guidelines have left students at Nichols and other universities scrambling to decide if they will receive the vaccination or deal with the other rules that have been set in place. At Nichols, Guidelines are not the same, but similar to schools like LSU, Loyola, and Tulane, as they are requiring students to take vaccines, but students have an option to opt out if they do not want to take a vaccine. The Louisiana National Guard is administering free rapid tests in the leader suite weekdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., according to Director of Communications, Jared Davis. Students who are not vaccinated will be randomly selected for testing, and they will have 72 hours to upload a negative COVID test to the patient portal after the are selected. Random COVID testing is not a problem for students who are not vaccinated because that gives them a chance to keep the campus safe as well as students who have decided to take the vaccine. It is important that Nickel students submit their records for opting out of the vaccine or taking it by October 25th so they can be admitted to register for their classes during the registration period. Xavier University have more strict policies for their students because they could only opt out of getting the vaccine for medical and religious reasons if they did not stay on campus. Any student who did not meet the requirements were prompted to re-enroll for the spring 2022 semester. The University of New Orleans policies mimics the city of New Orleans policies in certain buildings like the fitness and rec center because the New Orleans community uses those buildings as well. The universities have strict guidelines, but Nickel students have options. They can either submit a letter of dissent or they can get a COVID vaccination. Reporting with All In, this has been Shannon Roy.